All right, guys, here we are at the James River, the very upper end. And really, out of the James River in my career, I have probably won, uh, definitely I won 500,000 in one tournament, and then I've won a couple uh, other tournaments. I won a Bassmaster tournament there. So this river is very, very special to me. Now, as you can tell, we're at the very, very upper end. We're on the Bedford County side of the James River. A lot of dams, a lot of spillways that are here. But today, we're gonna go fishing for smallmouth. You're not gonna see any largemouth. You're gonna see red eye, bluegill perch. And it's gonna be exciting to me because this is where, when I was a kid, this was like my outlet right here. This is where I used to come, wade, catch a bunch of smallmouth. Uh, now, none of these are gonna be giants, but they're fun catching them on light tackle. And of course, we're gonna be using the proficiency rod that I designed. So I'm excited to get back to my roots of nature. Virginia. Neener! Neener, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Guarantee it's one in there. Come on. Oh, first cast. First cast. I got him. First cast. What do I got? Yes. Check that out. First cast. Back in my stomping grounds, baby. Back in my stomping grounds. First cast. Ooh. It's just a lot of fun. Should I release him on the upper side? Let's give him a new home. All right, first cast. See if we can get one on second cast. Oh, uh oh boy, uh oh, uh oh. Got off. Oh, got another one. Why am? Check out that monster. Check it. No! That's all right. They're used to rapids. We're on them. Oh, 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 oh. Go get them. Yeah. Check out that monster. Hey, little buddy. Hey there, little buddy. He swallowed it. We're gonna give him a new home. We're gonna do a fancy let go, right here. Here we go. Fancy let go. Y'all, I see him still. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Nice small map. Big one. Big one. We're gonna release him over here on this side. Woo, there he goes. You know, one thing is really cool I mean like you can see just how beautiful these mountains are but there's no telling how many gallons of water have flown over this and this is a nat look at this this is natural rock you can almost see these pitted out uh, holes in here where I reckon over time water flowing over these rocks grind it out grind it out as you can see you can see the stones in there and actually You can see how smooth they are. 
So what happens is when the water comes in here, these rocks just circle around and almost like grind these divot holes in these rocks right here. Now, as you can see, we got a lot of rapids right here. And anytime you're fishing river, you got to be able to read current. I love fishing rivers with current. So you can see a channel going right here. You got a big rock. You're always going to have two different things. You're going to have eddies and you're going to have current, like current channels. So right there would be me floating down. Oh gosh, Misty. That one was sitting there in that eddy for sure. Oh, I got him. 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 Bam. Look at that. Hey, little buddy. It is so much fun. I know I spend a lot of time in a bass boat, but it's so fun to just get out here and just get back to the old school of just walking around, waiting and catching them. That's a big one, guys. That's a big one. He was sitting right there where he's supposed to be, too. Oh, he's, he's got me in the rocks. Oh, 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 yeah. This is really, this is a big one for this area. Oh, yeah. All right. How am I going to do this? Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, bam. Oh, guys, that is like just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look at the colors on that thing. Man, it's been a while since I've caught smallmouth. I actually went up to Lake Erie and caught a bunch of smallmouth, but it's been a while. We're gonna do the the fancy release right here. The fancy release. Oh, that was cool. I feel like a I feel like I've won the FLW championship already. It's almost like I don't even want to move. It's just so beautiful out here. Oh, oh! Man, I still got him. Still got him. You know, one great thing about fishing like we are is how does this train you as an angler? How does this make you better, David, as a fishing guy who does this for a living? Well, when it comes to reading, studying, I mean, we talk about we talk about studying the game of chess. We talk about studying the game of basketball. Like technically, I'm out here studying where potential fish may be. I'm practicing. I'm reading current streamlines. I'm looking for eddies. I'm looking for current places. And that fish right there, even though it was six or seven inches, it still caught, taught me a lot, taught me a lot. It's so much that you could pick up on as an angler in fishing, and it doesn't matter the size of fish. People get so overrated with the size of fish. It just drives me insane. To me, I love just catching fish, and the size doesn't really matter. Oh, Lordy. Oh, there he is. There he is. Ah, uh, uh oh, he got me in the current. And there he is. 
Check that bad boy out. Here's a scene for you. You got the mountains, the water, the waterfall. That just pretty. That pretty. We go release him for sure. Let's see how quick he figures his way out. Woo woo woo! Good gosh! That was amazing. Like he went, he literally went boop, 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 out. That's crazy, man. I see big giant. Uh oh, here we go. We're gonna swing him up on the the rocket boat. Here we go. I love it, guys and girls. I love it. Hey, uh, just the prettiest thing in the world. Ooh, look at me, look at me. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video because this has got to be one of my favorite videos of all time, just because of the scenery that we've been around. And I know we've been locked up, we've been quarantined, and we're finally loosening the reins a little bit. And just to be able to look at nature in a photographic way, in a in a beautiful way that God has intended for our eyes to look upon nature has been absolutely awesome. Thank you guys for subscribing. Make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't hit the notification, hit the notification button. We got a lot more content coming at you. And as always, I'm out.